Hey yo everybody, it's Johnny5 Alive here and welcome back to some more Dragon Quest Builders 2. So we uh found out about the three armies. It looks like we got our work cut out for us. Let's uh let's find out what we're doing next. So the hair force strike the first blow. What manner of magical weaponry might aid us in driving them back, I wonder? I don't know. But I do know it's only a matter of time before the fiends return in force. We should take this opportunity to extend our defenses outwards this time. Outwards, you say? This might just be the ticket. Uh, we could have Hargan's army harried and haggard before they reach our gates. I leave the final decision to you, Johnny. We need some sort of gauntlet beyond the city walls. Fill the spikes and snares to frustrate the fiend's approach. Oh, and be sure to leave some space for the magical weaponry we're yet to invent. Leave some space? How do I leave space for something I don't know what I'm leaving space for? Yep. Well, I guess the blueprint will say it all. Whoa. <laughs> Well, isn't that something crazy? Anti-Air Force Fortifications Blueprint. Whoo-ee. Well then, I'm assuming the NPCs will build this for us. Let's get to work. What in the world? Uh, this is precisely what I had in mind. Excellent work, Johnny. I presume those question marks are where you're planning to place whatever wonderful new magical defenses you come up with. Uh, speaking of which, I've given the topic some thought. As I see it, we need to target our enemy's weaknesses, and I think I might have an idea uh, how we discover theirs. Well, while you two are busy dallying in the dark arts, we make a start on erecting the walls you've outlined in your blueprint. Uh, don't forget to make sure we fully stock the castle wall blocks first. Just put some in the chest and we'll get to work right away. If you need some marble uh, to make more castle blocks, we'll have plenty in the caves to the south of the castle. Uh, we will be complete the blueprint without the wonderful new invention. So you had better get inventing. And as I mentioned targeting our enemy's weaknesses, I wonder what they might be. I don't know, but I have an idea of what might... Or what we might find out. One of the Hair Force's warships is moored not to, too far from here at the docks to the southeast. A warship! That sounds brilliant! It's about time we had change of scenery starting at the castle walls. All day is driving me mad. Uh, we're to... Were we to sneak aboard this vessel? Who knows what secrets we might uncover? I suggest the three of us head over there immediately. Very well, I shall stay here with Warwick. Somebody has to oversee construction work uh, and keep his majesty safe. Good luck with your mission. I hope you find your, uh, a secret crippling weakness that'll have the Hair Force begging to surrender. Oh, and sorry to keep you pushing, but to make sure you left off on us castle wall blocks in the chest before you go, we can't keep working if we run out of materials. Yes, we will definitely do that. Let's see if we have any leftovers from uh, the wall here. So you know what? We could probably just bash this thing down. Okay. Well, whoops. Frick. <laughs> Alright. Let me, uh... Let's see here. I'm just gonna put everything back in the bag other than our healing supplies. Let's go put this food over in the kitchen as well. Should have done a little bit of pre-prepping before the episode, I feel, but you just never know what you're going to get with this game. Hey, leave me alone! <laughs> Jesus, I don't want to go over the whole thing again. Okay, let's put this steak away. Let's put the potatoes away. We need some food. Let's take out these potatoes. Uh, looks like they're stockpiling some stuff for us. We will take those. And anything that we don't need for this, we're going to put back in our inventory. And here we go. And I feel like a lot of these spikes that I put around, we could probably uproot these. I don't think they'll be getting past the main gate any 
time soon, so best we save these for the front. I mean, it doesn't really matter, does it? We could just make more. And if they do so happen to get through, we at least have another row. But, eh, too late. <clears throat> Alright. Let's see. What do we need? We need ladders. <laughs> we need these, these. That's it. And what do we need to make? That is a lot of castle wall pieces. Well, luckily, we have enough marble. Was it marble? Yes. We might run low here. I guess if we're going to continue this building, I will definitely farm some marble in between this episode and the next one. Just so if we have another big project, it, you guys won't have to sit there and watch me farm marble for an hour. Let's see. All right. And ballistas. Yep. That should do it. We are ready to rock. So where's a good spot to put... Uh, I guess I can put the chest anywhere. Let's plop that down. Now, I have a bunch of spikes laid out. I wonder if they'll automatically destroy those to make room for whatever they need. You know what I mean? Because... No. I guess I could clear them. Just in case. <laughs> it's quite satisfying. Look at them go. <clears throat> That's probably my absolute favorite thing about this game. Is setting down a blueprint, filling it up with all the materials, and then just watching them work. I did a, as you guys saw in the previous episodes, I did that tree fort, and it was super satisfying just to watch them put up the whole tree. It's really incredible. I just love the AI in this game. It's, it's pretty incredible. Alright, so, looks like they have everything they need. It is time for us to go scope out the enemy's ship. Where is it? Hmm. Oh, way down here. Looks like we're running. Um, I don't really have any medicinal herbs. Let's see here. Yeah, I can only craft one. It's unfortunate. I'm gonna quickly ring the bell to gather any materials or hearts that's not a lot we have 341 to go to get to rank three i'm gonna assume we'll hit rank three somewhere after beating the first boss and then rank four after the second and then we'll be pushing towards the finale with all of our unlocks uh it seems pretty bad to go up that way so let's grab some uh snow blocks and we will scale the mountain. Don't want to aggro like a freaking entire army or something. Okay. Man, I was just playing some StarCraft 2 before this. I've been getting back into it and I'm almost at Diamond League. And when I played like, I hadn't played it in like probably 15 years or so. When I was younger, I never, I played mostly 2v2, so. Uh, 1v1, my skill level was like gold. Came back to the game, started off at Silver League, moved up to gold, moved up to platinum, got up to top 10 platinum, and I'm number one platinum in the world right now, and about to go diamond, but everybody I'm facing is so much better than me, and I'm on like a 20 game lose streak. Well, maybe not 20 games, but... <coughs> 
certainly feels like it. Everybody's just so good, and your adrenaline just gets pumping with that game. So, I was like, you know what? Dragon Quest Pillars is so much more satisfying, so much more relaxing. Uh, my arms aren't shaking, I'm not getting mad, wanting to scream at people. Uh, it's just it's so frustrating. I wish, I, wish I, I could play that better without freaking out, but the better you get at StarCraft, the harder it is, and then it's just all stressful all the time. Sucks the fun out of it, but here we go. <clears throat> That must be Hair Force One's ship. Let's go smash some stuff. So yeah, I jumped into this episode. I was feeling a little bit strange. My adrenaline was still going. <laughs> it's like so frustrated. Uh, Melroth, wait. I I may have made. I have a man hidden on that ship. He may have valuable intelligence for us. I won't risk exposing him. The last thing we went want to. Last thing we want is a pitched battle. We need to sneak in undetected and meet him on board. Johnny, what about that hill? You could use your windbreaker to glide down to the ship without anyone noticing. Well, didn't I just glide here? Why didn't you tell me that when I was at the top? Freaking hay. Give me the cotton. No. I need, like, a larger pickup radius. That should be a thing. You know? I could have sworn I just glided off that mountain. They should have had the trigger point here. Ah, well. Yee. All right, we made it on board. Now we just, we just have to find my man on the inside. Oh, this is the worst, the worst. Quiet now. Let's hear what the fiend has to say for himself. I hate this stupid troll. He had to go out and get himself killed, didn't he? Now we have to sail all the way to Moonbrick to finish what he couldn't. And we barely made it here at all. That stupid storm tore a hole in the, a huge hole in the, in the stern of the my poor ship. Urgh, I hate storms. And I hate a... And then I find a horrible little human stowing away in my hold and have to throw him in the brig and I just had to clean. Gah! I'm having a real dog of a day. A stowaway? He must be talking about my man who snuck on board. The poor fellow must have been found out. We must hurry, Johnny. The monster said there is a hole in the back of the boat. Let's see if the hole is big enough for us to sneak through. Well, I am... I have a massive hammer. Doesn't matter if it's big enough. <laughs> we could just make another hole. Okay, let's r r go on a rescue mission. <sighs> Pee wee, this water is absolutely freezing. Really makes you feel alive, doesn't it? You certainly have some unique preferences, Melroth. I'm so cold I can hardly feel my fingers. And she's freaking wearing metal. Doesn't help. Eep, Goomins, what are you doing in here? Oh, it's only a slime. Don't worry. I'll wring his little neck and be done with it before he can tell anyone we're here. Uh-oh. Slimes don't have necks, you silly goose. Uh, wait, it's you, Anessa? Long slime no see. Oh, look at this, a wizard man. Jeremiah? Thank the stars you're alive. I was sure those ghastly beasts had you caught. Johnny, Malroth, this is Jeremiah. He is under my command, infiltrating the monster forces. Alas, his mission has yet to be bear fruit. What are you talking about? I've climbed the ranks faster. Oh, what are you talking about? I've climbed the ranks faster than any slime in monster history, and the hold is tidier than ever now that I'm in charge of cleaning it. <laughs> Whatever the case, we have no time to waste. We must find out what the hair forces weaknesses before they are discovered well didn't he just say he hates storms perhaps I can be an assistance here take this it is a uh, served me very well over the years Yay! a mod rod I'll explain the particulars of how the mod rod works uh, in good sl oh he's gonna say slime <laughs> I mean a good time for now I suggest you try using it all all should become readily apparent. Yep. Ooh. Whoa, what's going on? We look different. Ha ha ha. This is the power of the mod rod. I can, as you can see, we could ooze them. 
<laughs> Uzam. Use it to disguise ourselves as monsters and roam freely throughout the, their midst. Uh, what the slime? That saved us from those monsters on Moonahan. That was you, wasn't it? When I disguise as a monster, there's many things I, one can accomplish. You could draw near to the enemy, talk to them, learn their strengths and weaknesses, their secrets. There are there are disadvantages, those, though. Uh, for one, it is nigh impossible to fight a monster. Should the need for battle arise, we would do well to revert to our true forms. Well then, let's let us head further into the ship and see if we can find out some trick to defeating Hair Force. Ah, oh, and let us not forget the poor soul trapped in the brig. We should see to releasing them first chance we get. Wait, I thought he was the one trapped. The cells are in the room beyond the door. We shall have to find the jailer and convince them to let us use the key. Cool. Excuse me. Coming through. Hello, rabbit. The captain will be hopping mad if he sees a lot of you off from your posts. Are you looking to end up inside of a cell or something? Of course we are. We wouldn't be talking to you otherwise, would we? Now shut up and get out of the way, you dumb bunny. Malrod, please, let me handle this. Hmm, what are you whispering? You want me to hop into the cell, have a look around, and make sure the dreary and depressing... It's dreary and depressing enough? That's nothing too... Uh... That's nothing to be embarrassed about. Go on in. But no funny business. Or you'll be stuck in there for good. Who do we have here? Ah, no, no monsters. Please. Please don't eat me. Oh, great and powerful Hargan, hear my prayer. Save me from their wretched fate. Blah. Uh, perhaps we should use the mod rod again to remove our disguise. That might speed up the conversation a little. Uh, you can return to your room visual by pushing RB. Don't blow your cover accidentally at the inappropriate moment. Goodness gracious! Who in Argent's name are you, and how did you get down here? Uh, about where are my manners? Allow me to introduce myself. I am Hayden, a bard. I snuck onto the ship to look for food, but the monsters had no ideas. Uh, we're searching for a way to defeat them. You must have heard some them talking while you've been in the cell. Did they mention any weakness they have? Anything that might be able to exploit? Uh, they're bound to have some sort of secret. Everyone does, but sadly my jailer is a uh, tight-lipped sort. He never rabbits on about anything. If it is information you're after, the downtrodden and the put up put up in are always the first to gossip, and a ship like this is bound to have dogs' bodies to, to spare? Uh, maybe you can find one. All right then, Johnny, let's go. I mean, go. a oh, goo. <laughs> Don't forget to use the mod rod before any monsters catch sight of us. If I stay here, I'll only end up as a monster's lunch. I'm coming with you, whether you like it or not. Yep. All right, just a little army of pound pounds. Hey, Geek, I haven't seen you around this ship before. You must be new here. Uh, so what if we are? Look, we just want to know what the Hair Force weakness is. <laughs> it's so blunt. Are you going to tell us, or are we going to have to beat it out of you? Manoroth, please be quiet. Just leave this to me. Oh, that was Jeremiah. Ah, oh, one of the bear wolf, uh, the werewolves has been making your life hell, and you want to know what their weakness is so you can get your own back. Ikik, I like the cut of your jib, newbie. Unfortunately, I can't help you there. Uh, I might know someone who can, though. Uh, poor Powie, Yowie, <laughs> stuck out there after deck. Day after day would be more than happy to lend you a hand. Go up the stairs to the main deck, then out through the rear of the cabin to the after deck, and you'll be sure to find him. Ikik, Ikik. No! Yep. I'm used... I think RB is sprint? So, I'm used to, uh, yes, doing that. Wait, now we're slimies. How did we not get caught there? <laughs> Wait, he wants us to go up this way. That doesn't even make sense to me. There must have been another way. Well, nonetheless, we're going this way now. 
Where are we? Frack! Mm. My bad. Look <laughs> at this army of blobbies. Excuse me, coming through. I should use my pencil and steal this blueprint. Make a big ship. Wait a second. <laughs> oh no. How do we get in there? Yes, if there's something I can help you with. There's a bear wolf who's making life awful for you. If you want to know his weakness, you'll, though, you'll have to teach him a lesson. Listen, I may look big and nasty, but I'm not the type to nurse a grudge and seek revenge. Not like the scare, the scare wolf up there on the force cast. Perhaps you could dack him. It has, he's the biggest, reddest, scariest chap on the whole ship. Jeez, some of these spellings are weird. Uh, struggle with this game time to time. So it seems like we're gonna have an espionage mission for each one of these uh, armies. Aru, you're the new force, aren't you? How would you like? How how do you like life in the big leagues? I hope you're committing plenty of evil deeds. This job's going to be a cakewalk. Those pathetic humans in Brookburn don't stand a chance against us. We can have all the fun we want. That's enough out of you. Shut up and tell us what the Hair Force's great weakness is. Aha, you've got some spirit, newbie. I like you, so I'll let you in on a secret. All of us in the Hair Force are covered in thick, shaggy fur. It keeps us safe in the storm, whether that's one of snow or, or of swords. But there's one big drawback. If all that shaggy fur comes anywhere near a flame, we go up like a sack of kidling. Bury us in ice and we'll be ripe as rain. But we'll bring a candle too close and woof! My, my goodness, Malroth, you've learned more in an afternoon than I discovered in my many long years of uh, amongst these monsters. This information is very useful indeed. We have our inspiration, inspiration our new magical weapon must harness the power of fire. It seems our mission here is complete. Uh, let us return to Moonbrook Castle before our true identities are discovered. Fire. Sizz stare. Alright, we got a freaking flame grill. Awesome. Let's just warp back. A little espionage. Learn some secrets. Ooh, look how much freaking ore we have here. Mm -hmm. I don't want to use all the iron, but this will be smelting for a nice while. Are you getting attacked out front here? Jeez, I'll let them take care of it. Oh, never mind, I can't. Gotta help out. Yeah! yeah! I love the Yetis, I don't want to hurt them. Wait a second, I thought the walls were indestructible. I guess the gate is not. So that acts as like a funnel point. I wonder if we can use that to our advantage. Another level. Recipe. Only used by Malroth. 
I did uh, acquire a flame sword, but I need some kind of crazy ember that I've not seen in the game yet. Yeah. I feel like I do no damage to these guys. Wait, do we got new recruits? What is this? Freaking... Oh, that's the ballist. Oh, I see. Uh, oh, you guys. My stars, Moobra Castle stands strong once more, but there ooze to be... So oh, sorry. Uh, used to be not a B-dot, but ruins here. Grandfather? Oh. Oh, Esther, my dear. Sweet Esther, I'm so happy to see you alive and well. Uh, Jeremiah, you're back. After all these years, you finally come home. I thought this day would never come. Now we got two old men. It makes it confusing. <laughs> The wisest... I forgot how to do the king's voice. <laughs> the wisest man in the realm is returned to us. Moonbrook's revival proceeds a space, a pace. Old friend, and with your wisdom, it shall surely grow speedier still. Johnny, neither I nor my dear granddaughter have ever subscribed to the children of Hargan's hateful teachings. Let us join you and work together as builders. Goodness gracious me, uh, hating the children of Hargon, Har becoming a builder, this old fellow must be out of his mind. Oh Hargon, oh Hargon, oh hear my song, uh, <laughs> I'll let it be true to you, if you trust Hargon you can't go wrong, oh doo -dee -dee -doo -dee -doo. Oh my ears, what is this awful <laughs> cacophony, are you a monster or a human form, sent here to drive us all mad? <laughs> Jeremiah, <laughs> I need. I think that's the wrong voice I'm using for the bard. He needs something squeamish. You found out the hair force's weakness, and you rescued Lord Jeremiah from the monster's bits. That's fantastic news. I heard that he went out for a walk and never came back. I would never have guessed that he had been spied on the enemy this whole time. Yeah, I, I've known the man ever since we were both swaddling in swaddling clothes. I had never doubted for a second that he would come back. Lord Jeremiah went undercover long before you and Malroth arrived in Moonbrook. Now we know the enemy's greatest weakness. His mission is finally complete. So Johnny, tell me, these sniz snares uh, of yours, how do they work exactly? You have considered that they can merely belch scorching flames or around, all around, I trust? Uh, the enemy would simply walk on them. I see. You plan to put the pl in, in place of the, uh, in place a mechanism whereby, whereby the fountain of fire only activate when the enemies step on them. On a nearby switch. You really do think of everything, no doubt. You've come, even come up with a design for the triggering mechanism too, haven't you? Oh, good googly moogly. Well, Johnny, it seems that all remains for you to do is uh, go to the wizard's workbench and build these new inventions of yours. And then the blueprint can finally be finished. All right. Yaha! Yaha! Pressure plate. Okay. So they're smart enough to not just... Wait, why is there a hole in my wall? I thought you fools were supposed to fix this stuff. And I thought castle walls were impenetrable. Why is that not stacking properly? So, the trap evolution continues. Castle tile? Where do we get more Zapphire? I mean, I guess I have enough for these four. Okay, let's see if we can make castle tiles. Can make some castle columns. And castle tiles. Oh, that uses marble. I didn't even check how many I needed. Oh boy.
We are fresh out of marble. Oh, that's right, we have to cook it. Can I make another one of these tables? I don't think I can, can I? That's rather unfortunate. Well, hopefully the other 70 that we need don't have to cook one by one. Ugh, that'd be a disaster. Why aren't you people harvesting all this food? There's a farmer amongst you people, isn't there? Give me them potatoes. Okay, they cook pretty fast. Now, did I need columns for the blueprint in here? Sap traps. Okay, let's stow these away. I need some sap traps. Oh, look at this place coming together. Looking good, people. Looking good. So I talked to Zell. He's finished Act 3 already. And I think Thunderbud's also finished Act 3. And I think Synchros is coming close to finishing it as well. So I... I was the furthest ahead, but now I'm officially the furthest behind. But I did spend... Uh, I, I got sick. So I blame it on being sick. I'm still not on 100% either. But yeah. Got sick, and... Uh, that set me back, and then I ended up spending a lot of time building on the Island of Awakening. So, we, we got set back, and now everybody's waiting for me to finish, so that they can uh, come build in my game again. They all want to get building, so I want to get through this, but I also don't want to rush it. I want to take my time. Let's see how our traps are doing here. Yeah, I want to take my time, enjoy the game. So far, you know, uh, I don't know what episode this would be, 40-something, I, I would guess. Not really sure, but uh, we've taken our time through this game up until now. Really soaked it up. And honestly, I've never really done, I've never really committed to a full Let's Play. I did like Divinity Original Sin, but we didn't quite finish the game. Uh, I'm trying to think what else. I've tried, my Let's Plays always end up being Let's Tries. I never actually finish a game on... Uh, through and through. I've done the Let's Plays with different various games, but never finished the game. So, this one for me, I really hope to get through this and at least have that checked off my bucket list of things to do on YouTube. Uh, it seems pretty common to do Let's Plays, but not for me. It's it's just, I, I, like, I prefer making the guides and... Uh, the spotlights at Let's Builds. Let's Builds I've done a lot of. I mean, we finished Candyland. That was a hundred episodes. <laughs> the never-ending year-long project. So. It's nice. It's nice getting through a Let's Play here. And honestly, I'm not that a big fan of, like, reading games either. Like, a lot, a lot of dialogue. Unless it's like a... I'm, unless it's a Square Enix game, which it is. <laughs> It's funny, just because I played Octopath Traveler and there's a ton of reading, but uh, I absolutely love that game. Although, I didn't quite finish that one either, and I wasn't even doing a Let's Play. I have a hard time finishing games, I get bored by the time, like, in Octopath Travel, I got so powerful that nothing could defeat me, and I just, like, kind of lost interest. Uh, I do think they need a higher difficulty scale in that game, uh, but there is some, like, crazy hidden bosses and 
I mean, the, like the last boss in the game is really hard, apparently. And I probably wouldn't be prepared for him, but I'm over prepared for everything else. So it's like, okay, well, everything's going to be a walk in the park except for this one battle. But I still feel like I have unfinished business with Octopath Traveler, and I do want to go back to it at some point. Anyways, uh, what are we doing? We're just waiting? There's no active quests. I guess, yeah, we're just getting this blueprint done. Castle, one castle corner, and it's done. Oh, 16. Oh, pressure plates, of course. Let's go build some pressure plates. Boom. I, I, I really like the story in this game, and I think it's been a ton of fun so far. I still do think they should add in, like, a free play mode that's not restricted to story. Um, just for... because I know the game would reach a larger audience. When you tell people, oh, you have a 30-40 hour campaign to get through, maybe even longer than that, to be honest. Uh, yeah. Definitely longer than that. <laughs> but yeah, if you have 50, 60 hours of playing minimum before you can really unlock everything. And even then, I don't think you've got it all. And that's when multiplayer gets good. It's a huge commitment. You know, some people just want to load up a game and start playing multiplayer and building with their friends. And that's definitely where Minecraft has its advantages. So hopefully they make Dragon Quest Builders 3 more streamlined uh, with the option of doing story mode. And then I would make it so, if I was the developers, make it so story mode um, is optional and everything that you acquire is like special unlocks. So all these NPCs, they're special. All these, you know, collectibles and different things that you get from story mode. That, that would make it better. Um, that way it's like, oh, I didn't play the story. Oh, you did. Oh, how'd you get all this cool stuff? Well, I played the story. I think that would make more sense. Castle Corner. I'm missing a Castle Corner. Oh, I have one on me. You know what? Let's put this one down ourselves. Oh, that one might have been destroyed. Burp, 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 burp. Beautiful. Alright. A, a little bit of a delay there. Gosh, Johnny, seeing the blueprint was one thing, but now that it's all the sizz snares are in place and the whole thing is complete, these defenses are downright inspiring. Next time the Air Force come knocking, we'll be able to give them a jolly old walloping. I'm almost eager to see them try their luck. Bring it. And yet, Anessa still refuses to see the light, and after witnessing everything you've done for us, She's always been stubborn, so-and-so. Uh, once she has her mindset on something, she'll never change it. I cannot help but worry about her. Um, but you needn't. Please don't hold her uh, ob obstinacy, obstinacy against her. So, Jerome is alive, just as I suspected. The sly old fox had the whole moonbrook convinced he was up and disappeared. Still, the truth is even more impressive. On Anessa's orders, he dropped the whole life without a word. He dropped his whole life without a word of farewell and joined the enemy ranks. God Zooks, what a shining example of a soldier. But I shouldn't be outdone. I must put all my soldierly skills to work. Speaking of which, I have splendid idea. I would have you invent something to aid us in uh, martailing our troops. We must keep our forces from charging blindly into battle. Better to allow your magical traps to do the work than finish the enemy off when they are weak. I have calculated their best to hold where we're best to hold the line. Once you have invented some sort of signal, pray place them in two places I mark out. Okay. Uh -huh. Watchfire. Cool. Our watch begins. Let's go make some watchfires. 
Brick. Oh. Two of these. Two of these. Huzzah! Let's put some of this stuff away. Here I come to light the flame. Gazooks! Gazooks, Johnny. These watchfires are just the ticket. Now our soldiers must uh, can muster by these torches and wait for the perfect chance to strike. <laughs> it's an excellent strategy, don't you think? Placing the watchfires behind the defenses. This way the enemy shall bear the full brunt of your strategic sapping traps before our soldiers charge forth from their position to finish them off. Speaking of our soldiers, Buller, it may be me merely my imagination, but I can't shake the feeling that we're a couple men short. Hmm. They may simply have deserted, but with all of this talk of spies hiding among us, I fear more sinister fate might befall in them. Perhaps I'm jumping to conclusions, but nonetheless, I suggest you keep your wits about you. Oh boy. It never ends with these spies. Hmm? Huh? God soaks, what is that? It's battle time. Alright, well that wasn't too bad. Looking at the time, we're 41 minutes into the recording. We infiltrated, we built. And it looks like we're going to battle. Hopefully this is the actual hair force. And we get something checked off here. Uh, although we should definitely go make sure we have everybody equipped with the best possible weapons. And Malroth needs a new axe. Now... Let's see if, yeah, I'll show you guys the fire sword. See, I need rock bomb shards. I don't know where to get those just yet. So that'll have to wait. But we can make some steel broadswords. Probably 10 is a good option. Make sure everybody's equipped. And good old buddy Melroth, here's a new hammer for you. Oh, that thing is badass. All right, who's fighting? It's hard to tell who already has one. <laughs> but it doesn't take too long to just double check. Mm, cowards everywhere. The bard should play music and buff us. That'd be dope. Alright. That's everyone. So I only gave one sword out. <laughs> Okay. Let's go, buddy. It's that time again. Uh, we are ready. Let's go. Ooh. Screenshot mode. times. Everybody scatter to your positions. Hold the line. Burn the rabbits. <clears throat> I feel like there needs to be spike traps in between those. Why not, right? Just an extra layer of damage. I'm setting off my own fire traps, though. I mean, they are weak to fire, but I'm sure spike traps still do damage to them. Ah! Should have done this beforehand. Wasn't thinking. Oh, 
Power attack. Do ya! Fucking turret defense games are so fun. I, I, I'm actually quite surprised that this was what they threw at us. Coming at, oh. I mean, before we even got here, I had no idea what to expect for Act 3. It all being about war. Uh, I don't think the spikes are doing damage, are they? I'm not sure. I guess there's just a whole bunch of numbers. It's hard to tell. But yeah, I had no idea what Act 3 was going to be about. I didn't expect it to be like a, a turret defense at all. Pretty cool. You know, it, it just... I think what they could do with this game... It has like levels of evolution that it can do. Uh, whether it be an expansion pack or Dragon Quest Builders 3. They could literally make it moddable and stuff. So people can make mods of the game. Because this, this game would make for a great turret defense, much like Fortnite Save the World, where you put all the traps and they just keep coming and they come to break your fort that you build. I think that's amazing. Like, basically you could have these competitions where who could make the best forts and how many waves you could survive. The more waves you beat, uh, you get special unlocks and special customization features. And that could be like a whole different game mode that you do with your friends in multiplayer. I'd love that. It'd be amazing. Eek, 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 you fools defeated, uh, you fools defeated by mere humans. You're just, uh, you're not just embarrassing yourself, you're embarrassing me! Alright, no more monkeying around. If you want the job done, you have to do it yourself, eek, eek. Alright, Bat Mandrel. Oh, gotta get a screenshot. Alright, come get some. <clears throat> Look at that. So, spike traps are working. Definitely a good bit of extra damage there. Looks like they're not really destroying the traps, which is a good thing. Holy moly. Heal me. This is incredible. Whoa, whoa, watch out! What was that? Oh, was that a boost or something? Or a debuff? I have no idea. Yeah, see, we're, like, wrecking this boss so much easier than the other axe. Because we actually have turrets on our side. And an army. Helps. Why, why is the priest out here? <laughs> she doesn't even have a weapon. Sweet. Eek, no, her force cannot be defeated, not by the likes of you filthy bald humans. Uh, you may have won this ba the battle, but you did not win the war. Hargan's heroes will be victorious. So you think. Ooh. We did it, Johnny. We beat the Hair Force. Excellent work, Johnny. Uh, those cis snares you made worked like a dream. Indeed so. Let us continue to seek our enemy's weaknesses and that we may win this war without a single sword being swung. Sorry to break it this to you, Granddad, but these fancy traps aren't to be... aren't the be-all and the end-all. Or the ones who actually put our necks on the line to finish the monsters off. Uh, that's, that's as may be, but every little helps. The Air, the air Force and the Scare Force are still out there, and we may need every tool at our disposal to lay them low. <laughs> Before you get carried away planning for the next battle, let us go see the damage from the last one. Okay. Beautiful. Bing, bing, bing. Ah. How about that then, young builder? Good as new, if you ask me. Hang on, something's not right. I can still smell the monsters about. 
Hagen, preserve us! Look, everyone over there! Ka ka ka, you, you never hit us from down there, pathetic humans. Damn it all, what do we do? What do we do? <laughs> oh, no. Ka ka ka, not so tough now, are you? You don't stand a chance against the almighty Air Force. Uh oh. They are here already, but, but our preparations were not ready for another battle. Speak yourself, I was born ready. Come on, Johnny, let's get him. What? Oh, this is not them. This is just like a warm up. Uh, what did we do? Uh, what am I supposed to do? Anyone have any ideas? This is a bit of a mess. Well... Am I able to ring the bell? I have enough to level up now. Oh! Aha! Oh, they kind of- they finally landed. You got all tired out. Yeah. Save the king! Phew, it took some doing, but uh, we got them in the end. That flying trick is nasty. Well, what else did you expect from the Air Force? We shall... Have to rethink our defenses. They flew right over our cisners. Not to mention the Great Gate. It was hard enough just hitting them. We need a strategy to handle them if we if they attack in mass. How do you, how can you talk? How can you talk off defenses and strategies at a time like this? Well, what are those two poor soldiers in front of the castle? Ah, uh, what's gotten into her? It's the dead people. She's the priest. Oh no. Oh Johnny, these poor souls, poor souls. Well, I understand how hard it is for you, Esther. None of us wish to witness death, but we are at war. People will die. These men were prepared to pay the pr price for what they believed in. We all are. They're dead. They're never coming back. I don't, don't, don't want to die. We have to win, no matter what. Johnny, if it isn't too much trouble, would you be so kind to give these proper bur these men a proper burial like you did for the m those in Moonhan? We must learn from this tragedy. Let us add to our strength so that the Air Force... So when the Air Force return, we are ready for them. Vengeance will be ours. Time to eat! Oh no! <laughs> There's like 10 bodies! Time to eat! Oh, that's hilarious. Oh, that's terrible. I just wanted a screenshot of the priest, but the uh, emoji thing's in the way. Time to eat. Jeez. Alright. Let's give these guys a burial. What did we need for that again? Gravestone, two. And two coffins. Where's my coffins? Oh, we might as well do it next to this guy. Oh. 
Let's put these down first. <sighs> and we will level up the bell in the next episode. See what kind of goodies we get. We'll be level 3 going on to the second fight. I'm assuming we'll be level 4 going into the final fight. Hopefully we get some uh, nice things to build in the next little segment. Okay, let's get some dirt. There you go. All right, I think it's kind of amazing how this game, it does everything in like five, 10 minute bursts, generally. Uh, there's been a few times where I think it was in act one where it just kept on dragging out, dragging out and I had these big long sequences and I had to break up the last episode into two recordings or no, it was one like long two hour recording and I wasn't prepared for that and I had to just split the episode off and cut it in half. Uh, but other than that, every single one of my recordings and episodes so far has been like perfect just under an hour. Um, it's just the, the way the game paces itself. Do five minutes of this, do ten minutes of that, and by the time, you know, yeah, it just, it, it works perfectly. I can look over at the time and see that we're, we've done enough, and in this case, we closed out the chapter by defeating the Hair Force. Which is great. Hopefully in the next episode we can close out that in an hour, uh, defeating the Air Force and so on with the Scare Force. I'm assuming there's going to be more after the Scare Force. It just doesn't make sense that, you know, maybe Malroth turns or something crazy happens. But I expect there to be a big final shebang. So it's interesting because much like we had the... Um, the bronze pub, the silver pub, the golden pub. Now we have the different enemy waves. But generally speaking, there's always a finale after each one of these segments of three. So I suspect there's going to be something after the scare force. We'll just have to wait and see. But it's going pretty quickly. So I think what I'm going to do between these episodes is go farm a bunch of marble. Because I'm assuming we're going to have to build a bunch again. And we are completely out of marble. So I'm going to go lose my marbles gathering marble. And I will see you all in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leaving likes and comments. I really do appreciate it. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye now.